A well-known hotel and restaurant in Lycoming County is destroyed by a weekend fire. Three people were injured in that fire, but if not for the fast actions of emergency responders, it could have been a lot worse. Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Parrish joins us live from Jersey Shore with details on the story. Morgan? Candace and Nick, good evening. As you can see, the Broadway Hotel is destroyed. There's debris all in the lawn and on the sidewalks. Now, firefighters tell me when they got on scene, the fire was chaotic, but it's still under investigation how that fire initially started. It's not every day that you end up uh, with a rescue like that, but it's good to know that when there is, we got guys that can do it and, and do it fairly efficiently. Around 10 o'clock on Saturday night, a fire ripped through the Broadway Hotel on South Broad Street with four tenants inside at the time. Bad, big flames. It's upsetting for when it caught on fire. When the local fire companies arrived on scene, they learned one of the tenants was trapped inside. I couldn't locate him at first trying to find him. Uh, eventually somebody said he was on the third floor where there was an air conditioner. Chief Matt Fawzi tells me it was difficult getting through the building, being that it's an old structure. He says the heavy timbers made it tedious. It was a pretty good task. We got up there, the assistant chief was up there, and he's trying to cook, talk him to come out. And he just, he just said he kept, kept saying he couldn't breathe and, and he couldn't get out. And eventually we just made the decision to grab a hold of him and, and pull him out on a little one foot ledge, it's underneath the window. Two and a half hours later, the fire was under control. Three people were taken to the hospital, including a firefighter with the Citizens Hose Company who was treated for a leg injury. Neighbors say they're thankful no one was seriously hurt. If people had to find homes and places to live. I feel sorry for them. Chief Falsey also tells me that between Lycoming and Clinton counties, there were about 18 fire departments that came out to help. Still, the fire is under investigation. In Jersey Shore, Morgan Parrish, Eyewitness News.